now because I became so much of a faith champion, there was something that moved on my inside because I was meditating on this thing. And when you meditate on this thing, when the devil moves, that thing is stared. The same way the Bible speaks about something. When the Holy Ghost rises on his inside, he can carry the gate of a city on his head. Naturally, he's a weak man. But let, when that thing is stared, he can move and he becomes a God. That's why you come under the dominion of eternal life. So that that life begins to regulate you. Things that should propel fear. All of a sudden, there is something in you called Sophronismus. It's an excellent mind. That life will provoke it. And instantly you enter a dimension that is naturally not available to mortal men. And you begin to do things that only God can do. It is a, it's an operation of the life of God in your spirit. Every one of us have it. But our consciousness level is different. The reason one man sees the dead and attacks it is because there is a consciousness of his, on his inside. He can teach you the doctrine you will not walk there until you know and you carry that consciousness. I heard God's servant preaching how he was in a car and a child died. You don't dare call yourself a man of God there. But when something moves on your inside, when that thing moves, if it moves, you can call the dead from Hades. They will come back. It is eternal life. This is how men grow in this kingdom. You don't grow just by coming to church. You don't grow just by acting religiously. These things you commit yourself to them. First of all, you must have an understanding of the things that are yours in Christ. Which includes life, healing, power, everything God has to offer. And you walk with that mentality. Secondly, you come under the government of eternal life. That life is what we tell you, don't go on Facebook. Because that life knows the things that deplete it. He knows the devil will come with whispers, enchantment. He will come with seduction of all kind. But that life will regulate you. Sometimes he wakes you up at night to say pray. Sometimes that life can tell you go and meet brother Nathaniel. You don't know why. You just trek to the house. And then when you come brother Nathaniel begins to exhort you. And then that life is energized. Because that life will lead you to parts that will strengthen its force in your inside. And when it becomes strong. You become invincible because that's the same life that regulates God. But many believers are not under the dictate of eternal life. We are not created to be weak. I told them somewhere recently, I said we are proofs that immortality can dwell in mortal vessels. We are proof that men can carry God. And when we begin to walk in the fullness of that reality, all of us will become different dimensions of God. The things you see happen to men in different dispensations in the scripture. They are revelation of possibilities that a whole dispensation can carry. The Bible spoke of Enoch. He said he was seven after Adam. And Enoch walked with God. And he said he was not. Because God took him. And it's not like it happened to him by accident. Enoch walked about and said God will carry me. The same way we are preaching rapture now. A man entered into the economy of life so much that he knew that his body will not see death. Others are permitted to die. He said, but me, I will walk out of this realm. And the time came, he was carried. Elijah knew so much how this thing was going to happen. He did not only know when, he knew where. And he walked through four cities. And he went and stood in a particular location. And chariots came from heaven to escort him and the wind carried him. Because he knows the language of that life. He knows it. Many are Christians. We have those dimensions, but we can't walk in it. Men of old who had not received the Holy Spirit, but through intimacy, they journeyed into life until they touched things that were in the spirit realm. The Jesus that you and I are receiving now because he was hung on the cross on earth. Some people met Jesus in the spirit. Jesus said, Abraham, your father, he saw my day and he rejoiced in it. Where did Abraham see Jesus? He mounted up. El Shaddai means the mountain one. The mountain one. He mounted up into El Shaddai until he stood on that mountain and he looked into the spirit and he saw Jesus. He said Moses was able to reject Pharaoh because he saw him that was invincible. The guy walked with God. A point came that Moses became an embodiment of the law. And Paul will say when Moses is read, that means if you look upon Moses, he's the law. What kind of depth is that? 
they were regulated by life and you and I have the Holy Ghost we jump up and down on Sunday we jump on Monday and we come to think that things will work there is a governmental lifestyle that everyone that wants to walk in dominion must have it's a regulated life warriors and men that find that path you will walk in it you will sustain the consciousness until you become one with that life that is what Christianity is about Christianity is not a religion it's divinity expressed through humanity you reign you ancient Zion's king cry out Kadosh you are mighty on your throne